I'm at the Ontario Veterinary Medical Association American Animal Hospital Association Conference in Toronto, Canada with Dr. Susan Little, a Canadian veterinarian. Yes. Yes. Feline infectious peritonitis. Yes. Big words. Yes. FIP is what people call it. I think that's the worst thing that can happen to any pet. Yeah, it's a pretty sad, um, it's a sad disease. You know, it makes everybody sad. Um, as you know, Steve, it is prone to affecting kittens, you know, more so than adult cats or older cats. Which makes so, it even worse. I know, what's sadder, right? You know, you have a, a, a newly adopted kitten from a shelter. Or Often from, because your cat that you had passed away. Absolutely. And, and here you've and got this bright new life in your house, you know, within a month or two months, it gets stricken with dis this disease that, uh, that, you know, strikes fear and sadness into everybody's heart. It doesn't matter who's involved with this disease. Yeah, because there's nothing that anyone till now, mm -hmm which we'll talk about, yep. has been able to do. It's, it's considered fatal, is it not? Yeah, it has been considered uniformly fatal. Now, you, mind you, we've been learning a lot more about this disease in recent years that helps us understand the full spectrum and also shed some light on which cases we might be able to help, which is information we didn't have before. Which so, is all new, yeah, all which new. will be announced in a moment. First of all, let's back up a step. What is feline infectious peritonitis? You know, it's a disease that's unlike any other disease we see in feline medicine, so it's often hard to explain to people. Um, you know, technically it's caused by a virus, but not in the same way that we think of viruses causing diseases we're familiar with. You know, it's not like distemper, it's not like the upper respiratory viruses. So this virus infects a lot of cats. You know, um, maybe in some places, maybe the majority of cats have this coronavirus coronaviruses are common in all kinds of species. People have coronaviruses, they give us colds. So cats have a coronavirus, doesn't bother most of them, but there's something about the coronavirus infecting a susceptible cat, right? So what makes that cat susceptible? And that combination, wrong cat with the virus, maybe some other things happening, um, stressors in its life, and it turns into this horrible disease. And it is a horrible disease. Mm. It's a, like an autoimmune disease, or a, yeah, I guess immune-mediated yeah. is a technically better yeah. way to say it. Yeah, and that's part of the things that make it tough, because in the end, the cat's own immune system, you know, normally our immune systems protect us, but we, we've all heard of diseases where your immune system becomes your enemy. You know, there are forms of arthritis in people, for example, where um, the immune system is the cause of your disease. And so FIP is a disease like that in cats in that instead of being beneficial, the immune response becomes the problem. All right, yeah. so here is some good news. Yeah. Uh, the Wynn Feline Foundation, funder of feline health studies for more than 40 years, yeah has something called the BRIA Fund. Yes. And money from the BRIA Fund goes to, hopefully, ultimately to solve is the goal. That's F the goal. FIP. Yep. Uh, and actually, there are some advances being made. And at the Wind Feline Symposium coming up in June, some of those will be announced. Yeah, we're really excited about this. So we do have a symposium every year. The Wind Feline Foundation does a uh, symposium that highlights current feline research every year and this year our focus is FIP because we have funded some research that we hope um, is going to hold some promise uh, you know maybe the first glimmer of hope really we've had in a long time for this disease and and two of the superstars of veterinary medicine nice. that are going to be there that are working yes and successfully yes on, on FIP yes I'm so thrilled it's really you know if they're superstars Right, if they're celebrities in veterinary medicine, these are two of them. You want their autographs? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. You want to have your picture <laughs> taken with them? Yeah. They're, you know, they're amazing people. It's Dr. Um, Al Legendry, who is at the University of Tennessee, um, who has been involved in a, a lot of infectious disease research, but particularly FIP, and Dr. Niels Peterson from the University of California at Davis, world renowned. Okay, so give us the 20 second version of what they are going to announce at yes. the symposium. Well, Dr. Legendry has been working on a new treatment for certain forms of FIP, so he's gonna tell us about the successes he's had. Successes with FIP, yes. that's a first. Yeah, and, and so there will be some cases we hope, not every case, but you know there will be some cases and he'll hopefully tell us um, you know the definitions of what cases are appropriate to treat. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Peterson is working on the susceptibility end, the genetics end, you know, 
what can we do with the genetics of the cat, maybe in breeding programs from pedigree cats, for example, how can we manipulate that? And which cats may be more susceptible right. than others, which you talked about earlier. Right. Uh, to learn more about the symposium, which all of you are invited to, it's for cat breeders, veterinary professionals, yes. and just cat plain owners, cat anybody. lovers, anyone. Absolutely. WinFelineHealth.org, W-I-N-N, FelineHealth.org, for all the details. Dr. Susan Little, thank you. Thank you.